So back when Bill Clinton had an affair and got caught lying about his relationship with Monica Lewinsky, Republicans and evangelical Christians said that Hillary Clinton should divorce him. And I remember a whole lot of people saying, yeah, once he leaves office, you wait and see, she'll divorce him. She won't have nothing to do with him. And then he got out of office and she stuck with him. And they're still together to this day. And Republicans will still suggest and ask, why did she stay with Bill Clinton? She should have divorced Bill Clinton. She gets asked that question all the time. Why did you not divorce Bill Clinton over that affair? But have you noticed they never asked that question to Melania Trump? Donald Trump cheated on her with a porn star and paid the porn star off. Melania Trump, at the end of the day, has been humiliated in public by Donald Trump constantly. And no one ever suggests that she should divorce him or leave him. She's the quiet first lady that stays in the back. You don't hear a whole lot from her. You never see them together. Now you just see him out here running around with his hot lawyer, Alina Haba. That's all you see. And they don't question that. They don't care. As a matter of fact, if he was to divorce Melania tomorrow, and let's say he married Alina Haba tomorrow, they wouldn't mind at all. They would be, it would be perfectly okay. Meanwhile, they're mad at Fonnie Willis, accusing her of having an affair with a partner in her law firm. But if Donald Trump got divorced tomorrow and married his lawyer, they would have no problem with it. And it's those types of double standards and that kind of hypocrisy that causes people like us to always call it out. They hold us to a standard. They, they hold us accountable for every word we say, every move we make. And they try to make it out like that we're these evil demonic people for the mistakes that we make or the lifestyles that we choose to live. And then they turn around and they give this guy a pass for everything that he does. And they never hold him to the same standard that they hold the rest of us to. And that's why we call bullshit. At the end of the day, Melania Trump has just been made a fool of by Donald Trump and continues to do so. And it appears as though that their relationship is strictly one of business. It doesn't seem to be a loving relationship. Barack Obama and Michelle seem to have a loving relationship. Hell, George W. Bush and Laura seem to have a, a, a typical everyday husband and wife kind of life. But Donald Trump and Melania doesn't appear to be that way at all. And no matter what he does to Melania or has done to her in the past, no one ever suggests that maybe she should divorce him. Now just imagine if Donald and Melania Trump was just your ordinary citizens. And let's say that they just attended church every Sunday and Donald was the way he was, had done all the things that he had done and there sat Melania. Can you imagine what people would be whispering about it? I can't believe she still sticks with him. I can't believe she's still with that guy over there. He slept with every woman in this church. I, I, I can't believe he's, they're, they're still together. That's what would be being said. But because it's Donald Trump, Melania is just expected to stay quiet about it. And at the end of the day, I wonder how that makes her feel. Because you know right now, if she came out and began throwing Trump under the bus, let's say she just came out and started airing all of their dirty laundry, what would they do? They would demonize her in a heartbeat. He he's probably already has a nickname picked out for her that he would run to True Social and say, miserable Melania, you know, money-hungry Melania. He would instantly flip the script on her and his followers would go right with it. And just, they would smell the blood in the water and like sharks, they would be right on top of her and they would demonize her and make her out to be the bad guy in the story. Meanwhile, they'll sit and ask Hillary, why are you still with Bill? Can someone please out there, moderate, independent, middle of the road, Republican, whatever the hell, can you explain to me this double standard in a way that could make it make sense for the rest of us? I'll wait. I'm not going to hold my breath. But I just know that if Donald and Melania was the couple down the street, everybody in town would be talking about what a piece of crap he was and that she should be leaving him. But because it's him, yeah, they never ask her that question.